Hello. Hello. This is freshman year. Oh, hi. Okay. You're sitting on your laptop in bed. You live in a dorm with your best friend Jenna. She's not home. You're scrolling through a Facebook album of pictures from a party you went to last weekend, and all of your friends look totally wasted. You're glad that you didn't end up in any of these pictures. Okay. Oh. Hey, are you coming out tonight? Some of us are meeting up at that bar, Crawley's. Don't, what's with your American I place? I would think know. British as possible. Uh, what do you want to pick? Um, I'm being lazy. Okay. You look back at Facebook and scroll through the newsfeed. There's a picture of you with Jenna. You're both posing with your hands on your hips, wearing tiny dresses. <laughs> you stare at the picture and feel a little bad. Jenna is so much thinner than you. Oh god, it's going to be one of these games. Okay, meet up in like an hour. What the hell is that? You're ruining this. You asked me to go British, so I went British. I'm giving you a chance to do the girl voice, but I will intervene if I need to. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. <clears throat> Come on, too choose. tired. You get up to look in the mirror. You're wearing jeans with a tank top and a cardigan. The tank top and cardigan are both black, of course. You basically only wear black anymore. It's something about New York. You're not even sure if you like how light your jeans are. Oh, she replied. <laughs> Yeah, sounds chill. I think it will be a low-key mm. night. Just people from our floor. I'm still destroyed from like last weekend. Lol. Sounds good. Last weekend was kind of too much in retrospect. You ended it alone in your bathroom, puking for at least an hour. Ew. You'd had too many Long Island iced teas as usual. Jenna always offers to buy you one, and then usually one of your other friends is drunk enough to share theirs with you. Then sometimes you buy another one for yourself once you're too tipsy to resist. You wonder why Jenna is being so, so slow to reply. Date rape. What? what? <laughs> Sorry. Ellipsius. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. Uh, let's not get destroyed. Wow, she replied fast this time. <laughs> I make no promises. She's basically asking for a hangover. You head out of your dorm towards Crawley's. It's really dark out, but there are lots of kids running around outside. They're all from your school, probably. You see some people from your class running by to some party. You should probably t send Jenna a text to make sure she's also heading to Crawley's now. Dot, dot, dot. Huh? 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 Who's there? You walk slowly towards Crawley's. You hate showing up to bars or parties alone, and you know that Jenna always shows up later than you. So you take your time. Unfortunately, Crawley's is already really close, and you can see it a block away. You just hope that she's there. Maybe you'll text her just to check. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, I'm almost there. Yeah. It's been at least ten minutes since you showed up outside the bar, and no sign of Jenna. The tall bouncer that uh, the tall bouncer that's always there asks you how you're doing. You tell him you're waiting for a friend, and he asks you which one. You tell him that you're waiting for Jenna. He says he doesn't know her, but he sees you around a lot with your friends. He's really friendly, and it feels nice to have someone to talk to while you wait for Jenna. Finally, some of your other friends from school show up. The they bouncer recognizes them and doesn't card them. Of course, they're all eighteen and nineteen, but this bar never cards. You think you'll text Jenna and then follow them in. Dot, dot, dot. Dun, dun, da! Ah. That was a bit creepy. Yeah. Uh. Stroke, stroke. Ah! Well, you screwed up now. I actually clicked the button. You bouncer. screwed up. <laughs> You're hanging out with your friends, drinking a Long Island iced tea, as usual. The music is really loud and you're sort of half dancing, attempting not to spill your drink. You stand on your tiptoes mid sway, peering over your friends' heads towards the entrance, wondering where Jenna is. Did she text you yet? No, no, no. Are you okay? 
Your friends are pretty wasted at this point, and you're feeling a little dizzy yourself. You wonder if Jenna is outside smoking, so you think you'll get up and check. It's weird hanging out with all these other peoples anyway. You only started school a month ago, and you haven't really gotten close to any of them other than Jenna. Are you smoking out front? You wave to the bouncer from earlier as you pass him in the top of the stairs. You step down slowly with your right hand firmly on the railing. You're more drunk than you thought. You guess that standing up really made it hit you. You can see why the bouncer went upstairs when you step outside. It got pretty cold. There's no one out front of Crawley's. And you sigh and turn around to go back inside, but the bouncer is there. He says, still looking for your friend? What's her name? Jenna? Dot, dot, dot. Just came out to look for her, actually. Oh man, I'm sorry about that. You're a pretty girl, though, so I'm sure you've got other people to chill with. <laughs> you laugh awkwardly. Is he hitting on you? You wish Jenna would get here already. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, that's nice. I don't know many people here yet. I only moved to New York a month ago. He says, I saw you dancing up there. Look like you're having a good time. You laugh again and nod your head, but you feel a little self conscious. You don't like when people watch you dance. Let me see you nod your head. Why whisper? <laughs> Jenna. You start to walk back inside, but at the bottom of the stairs the bouncer asks, What's your name? He passes you and leans on the stair railing. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. Oh, I'm Nina. He says, Cool, I'm Clark. Are you going to go back and dance? You feel like he'll watch you again if you go and dance. He's sort of cute, but it makes you feel awkward. No, this is not cute. This is creepy. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, uh, I don't know. No. Uh, yeah, that one. You start to head up the stairs. You feel a sudden pressure on you. Oh, Jesus, go away. You, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Methinks you might have chosen Barley. Me too. Me too. I don't like this. Nina? You hear a familiar voice. Jenna. But you can't hear very well over the sound of the bouncer sucking on your neck and the pounding in your ears from being drunk. Or maybe you're just startled. He turns away quickly, stepping aside. Hey, you're Jenna? He asks. You feel like your back is glued to the wall and you start breathing quickly. You walk over to Jenna trying to look calm. She says, let's go in, and grabs your hand, leading you upstairs. <sighs> that could have gone a lot worse. Uh -huh. Fuck, Jenna, he just started making out with me all of a sudden. Thank God he showed up. Jenna raises her eyebrows and turns all the way to face you. Oh my god, yeah, he totally did the same thing to Liz. But I guess she went along with it, and they fucked in the bathroom. Ugh. What the hell, though? He's so creepy. Uh -huh. Jenna turns away and pushes through the crowd to the bar. You stand back, leaning against the wall, resting your head on a mirror. You want to go home, but you're not sure... You yeah, you're not going to walk by that bouncer alone again. You also don't want to make Jenna take you home, because she just got here. You stand, waiting, and look back into the mirror. Mm-hmm. This is weird. Hello? Uh. Hello? <laughs> Okay. That was... Freshman year. Yeah. What? So. Uh, yeah. Uh, this game, I believe, is free on Steam, if you'd wish to give it a go yourself. And, uh, thank you for watching. See you. Bye. Bye.